guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute butterfly okay so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, three kinds of yarn you're gonna need the white yarn the pink yarn for the wings and the antennas and also you're gonna need the bright pink yarn but this one is optional if you want to decorate your wings and some safety eyes and also i use this crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the body and for the body uh we're going to start first with the magic ring and four single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do magic ring and then four single crochet so one two three and four okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn to close the garb okay so i'm gonna place my marker over here okay so after that uh in the next row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that again single crochet increase for a total of six stitches Okay, so I'll go in the next stitch and do single crochet. And then I'm going to increase in the next stitch. So I'm going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. So in the same stitch do another single crochet okay and then i'm going to repeat that one more time so single crochet then increase and then increase in the last stitch So, and then I'm going to put my marker over here. Okay, so in the next uh, row, we're going to repeat again the same thing. So, we're going to do single crochet, increase three times for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so we're going to go in the next stitch and do a single crochet. So, I'm going to do single crochet. And then increase in the next stitch. Okay, so and then you're going to repeat that two more times. So single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our fourth row, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase. And then repeat that three times for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then repeat that again so two single crochet one two and then increase okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so after you're done with that uh in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then again single crochet three and then increase okay so you're going to repeat that again three more time i mean two more times so you're going to do three single crochet increase and until here at the end okay so after that uh in the sixth row we're going to do four single crochet then increase 
and repeat three times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch okay so and then you're going to repeat that again two more times okay so after that uh in our seventh row we are going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 21 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again two more times okay so after you're done with that uh in the next six rows which is from row eight until row 13 you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 15 i mean for a total of 21 stitches in each row okay so do single crochet for the next six rows then i'll see you when you're done with the 13th row so that we do the 14th row together okay so after you're done with the 13th row uh this is how it should look like so now we're going to start on the 14th row and uh from here we're going to start decreasing so uh we're going to do five single crochet then decrease and then we're going to repeat that three times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay and then we are going to decrease so we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then we're going to pull through all the loops together okay and then we're going to repeat that again so five single crochet so one two three four five and then decrease again okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so after that uh in the 15th row we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat again the same pattern two more times until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 16th row we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again two more times until the end okay so after you're done with that uh make sure you stuff before we continue okay so as you can see i already stuffed mine this is how it looks like so for our 17th row we're going to decrease all the way around six times for a total of six stitches okay so you're going to decrease Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again so decrease again the second time okay so and then you're going to continue decreasing until you get at the end 
Okay, so after you're done with that, now we're going to start making the head. We're going to continue making the head. And uh, in our next row, uh, which is our 18th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of six stitches. Okay, so do single crochet, one single crochet, two. Okay, so continue doing until you get here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 19th row, we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to do one and then do in the same stitch, do another single crochet. Okay, and then also we're going to increase also in the next stitch. Okay, so continue increasing until you get to the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 20th row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat six times for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again, single crochet, increase. Okay, so repeat the same pattern all the way around until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 21st row, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, single crochet two, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way around until you get to the end. Okay, so in our 22nd row, we are going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and then uh, we're going to increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again so three single crochet increase all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in our 23rd row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one Two, three, four, then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end. Okay, so when you're done with the 23rd row, in the next four rows, which is from row 24 until row 27, we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 27th row so that we do the 28th row together okay so after you're done with the 27th row uh in our 28th row we are going to start decreasing and uh we're going to start doing uh four single crochet then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two, three, four, okay, and then you're going to decrease in the next two stitches, okay, and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end. So you're going to do four single crochet, decrease all the way round. Okay, so after that uh, in our 29th row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around uh, for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two three and then decrease 
okay so you're going to repeat that again uh, the same pattern all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in the 30th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around uh, for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again. So two single crochet decrease all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with uh, that, make sure you stuff as we go because we are almost finished. Okay, so now in our 31st row, uh, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around until you get to the end okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to stuff all the way until the top okay because uh, this is our last row so in our last row we're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so you're going to decrease okay and then we're going to decrease also in the next two stitches okay so continue decreasing all the way around until the end and then uh, when you're done you just cut off the yarn and then I'll show you how to make the wings. Okay so in our second row we're going to increase all the way around until the end. So I'm going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet. In the same stitch okay and I'm also going to increase in the next stitch okay so continue increasing all the way until here okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way round okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to continue repeating the same pattern all the way around until you get to the end okay so after that uh, in our row five and row six we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches in each row okay so uh, crochet row five and six and then we'll do the seventh row together okay so after you're done with the sixth row uh, in our seventh row we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. So two single crochet and then decrease. Okay, so continue repeating that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our next two rows, which is row eight and row nine, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row. 
so i'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we do the tenth row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our tenth row we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around so single crochet decrease all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our 13th row we're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so we're going to decrease okay and then you're going to continue decreasing so decrease Okay, so continue decreasing all the way until you get to the end okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to cut off your yarn and then make uh, the other part of the wing same like this so it's going to look something like this uh, okay so after you're done with the second part of the wing until here do not cut off the yarn because you're going to join the two wings together okay so I'll show you how to join the two together Okay, so I'm just going to put this inside here like that okay so I'm going to take my other part of the wing which I didn't cut off and then I'm going to go on the on this other side so where I left off and then I'm going to put my crochet hook through a moment okay so I have to make sure they're in line together okay so I'm going to put my crochet hook through and do a single crochet okay and then I'm going to place my marker over there okay and then i'm going to continue doing single crochet all the way through so do single crochet okay so uh continue doing single crochet also on all the stitches okay so you're going to do single crochet all the way around in this wing and also on the other wing until you get to where your marker is okay so and then you're going to do one more round of single crochet so it's gonna look something like this so this is the joining round and then you're going to do another round of single crochet so when you're done you're going you're going to cut off your yarn long enough for sewing and then when you're done with that i'll show you how to make the antennas Okay, so the antennas are quite simple so I'm doing them in pink color too to match the wings so you start with the six single crochet in the magic ring and then uh, in the second row we are going to increase each stitch all the way around until the end so we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch okay and also increase the other stitch Okay, so continue increasing all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in our third row uh, you're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so I'll see you when you're done with that row so that I show you how to do the fourth row okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next row which is our fourth row you're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches okay so you're going to decrease okay and also decrease in the next stitch okay so continue decreasing all the way around until the end 
okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to stuff the bottom part uh, of the antenna and then uh, because in the next six rows which is from row 5 until row 10 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of six stitches in each row okay so it's going to look something like this okay so when you stuff the bottom part it's going to look like this okay so when you're done with that you're going to make the other antenna and then after that i'll show you how to join all the parts together guys as you can see i finished attaching the parts together okay so for the antennas i attached them uh between the the third and the fifth row of the upper head here at the bottom at the top i mean and also for the eyes i just attached them uh in between between the head and also i embroidered the little smile over here okay so also i made some flowers little flowers uh for the wings i think it looks much much better that way or uh in your case you can do any kind of decoration that you want and then you attach it here uh between the wings or you can leave it just like that okay and also you can see the back side how i uh, attached the wings so i found the center over here from the top of the head until the bottom and over here you attach both the wings together and then you sew them here together so the pink yarn that you can see is the one that i used to attach the to embroider the the flower over here that's why you can see the uh, bright pink yarn here uh, at the back okay so that's it guys also if you want to put some legs uh to make some legs you can do that but in my case i prefer it that way without the legs okay so i hope you enjoyed this very simple pattern and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and also check out my other videos until next time bye